The next searching algorithm we will be focusing on this chapter is the binary search. When the data you are searching for are sorted, a more efficient search than a better sequential search can be represented and called as a binary search. To understand how binary search works, imagine you are playing a game, say a number guessing game, where the possible number is between 1 and 100. And you have to guess the number which is chosen by your friend. This is just an example which I am saying. According to the rules, for every guess you make, your friend has three responses. First is like your guess is right, or your guess is too high, or your guess is too low. So this is like three possibilities you get when you try to give a guess to your friend. So following these rules, the best strategy to choose the number 50 will be your guess. If the guess is too high, then choose 25. If 50 is too low, then you should choose 75. This is like you are choosing the mid values because based on the probability of the answer you get, you keep on guessing with the number that is like either it is too high, too low or the guess is right. For each guess, you choose a midpoint by adjusting the lower range and the upper range of the numbers. This midpoint comes as a new guess. So as long as you follow this strategy, you will guess the current number in the minimum possible number of guesses. So that is what is binary search all about. Like it's a kind of a quick sort algorithm where it takes the midpoint of the guess which you want to search for. We can implement this strategy as a binary search algorithm which is represented over here in this pictorial diagram. This algorithm only works on sorted data set. Here is the algorithm, like first step number one, set a lower bound to the position of the array and that position will be the first position of an array. Set an upper bound to the last element of the array, so that will be length of array minus one. While the lower bound is less than or equal to the upper bound, do the steps like set the midpoint, that is the upper bound minus lower bound divided by two. And then later, if the midpoint is less than the data to be searched for, set a new lower bound, which is nothing but again the upper bound minus the new lower bound divided by 2 plus 1. If the midpoint element is greater than the data being searched for, set upper bound to the midpoint minus 1. So this you have to repeat the steps, otherwise return the midpoint as the found element with respect to binary search. Check it out over here. So guessing name secret number is say 82. I keep on guessing my first guess will be 50. Answer will be too low because my actual answer is 82. So I say okay fine. So if it's not 50, then I say the element is 76. The answer again I get is too low. Then I give the third guess as 88. Which means the answer I get from my friend is too high. Which means my range of number is between 76 to 88. So then I give my fourth guess as 81. Again I get the answer that it's low. Which means my number is between 81 to 87. So it can be either 82 or 84. Then I keep a fifth guess that is 84 which says it's too high. And last guess I say is 82. So automatically I get a midpoint that is 82.5 which is recorded to 82 as my guess. So a guessing kind of game is a typical algorithm which is followed with respect to binary search. So we'll do one thing, we'll create a JavaScript file first to analyze what is binary search all about. And then we'll create an HTML file to analyze the description or the implementation of the binary search with that algorithm. This is my code base. Here I'll create a new file and that will be binary search.js. And here I'll start with my function. So my common function over here will be to disperse an array. So that is disperse array. It will take parameter array. And inside that it will specify for variable i equals 0. i less than array dot length. And then it will specify i plus plus. And after that it says console.log array of i concatenated with blank string. And then I say if i modulus 
10 equals 9, then it should print a new line. So this is my algorithm kind of strategy. And if I modulus 10, I modulus 10 is equal to 0, then it should again print a new line. So this is my condition. You can re re change this condition or keep the other condition if you need to. Now after this, I do one thing is to create a final thing that is nothing but which is called as the binary search functionality. So first of all, we'll create a random numbers. So for creating a random numbers, I'll just say, or we can even start with the logic of creating numbers as variable numbers. We did that in our linear search, variable numbers, and then we'll say for where i equals zero. This is actually used for generating random elements in an array. i less than 100, i plus plus. Here I say numbers of i equals mat dot floor and then I say mat dot random as 101 number. So I'll create a random number from them and then I call for disperse array and the numbers in it. So I'm done with this value part. Now I'll create a function for binary search array which will have be major values which is called as the upper bound and the lower bound. So implementation of binary search algorithm. Okay. So here I'll say function binary search and it will take array and data and there it will say where upper bound where upper bound equals array length dot one so that will be my upper bound element and lower bound will be set as zero where lower bound equals zero and then comes my while loop which is like while lower bound is less than or equal to upper bound then in such a scenario my mid value will be that is like mid value the, uh, the way we took it for quick sort algorithm will be mat dot floor upper bound plus lower bound divided by divided by 2. So I'll take this complete thing inside a bracket because we are first of all calculating the division and then we will call for mat.flow function. Now I say if the middle value of an array say array mid is less than the data then I print lower bound as mid plus 1 and else if the next condition is if it says array of mid array of mid with the value specified in it so my mid array will be in such a way that it should be greater than data and inside this it should be upper bound equals mid minus 1. So this was for my else if condition. Then afterwards I say else return mid. So this was for binary search algorithm. After that, I need to send some parameter over here. So I would just say return minus 1. So this was the complete implementation of a binary search algorithm. Now I will declare the variables. So my variables will be where numbers equal to blank array for 
वेरिएबल i इक्वल जीरो i लेस देन 100 i प्लस प्लस एंड देन आई विल से नंबर्स ऑफ i इक्वल्स मैट डॉट फ्लोर एंड देन आई विल स्पेसिफाई मैट डॉट रैंडम इनटू 101 so there after this i'll call for disperse array so that will be disperse array numbers and inside this i'll call for a variable so my variable will val equals 22 and after that i'll say var return val equals it will call for binary search so that is binary search numbers comma val so this is called for a binary search with the numbers value that is the random numbers which we generated and it will search for this value that is my number 22 now if i get a return val as greater than or equal to 0 then i will say console.log found plus val my variable at position say return val on the other hand the else condition will suffice that console.log val plus is not in array okay now let's go to our browser and verify what the output we are getting with respect to the binary search algorithm so this was our binary search algorithms for linear search which we got over here but we'll move to our next algorithm that is the binary search.js for that again we'll create an html file so let's create an html file first so my html file would be over here searching algorithm inside this i'll specify binary search.html here i'll say i'll call for doc type so doc type html and it will say html calling for head tag inside this i have the title tag which says binary search implementation and after that i'll call for meta tag so my meta tag would be meta cassette utf8 and after that i'll call for body tag so it would be body Inside this, I'll specify the binary search algorithm thing that is h2 binary search implementation. Then I'll call for script tag that is script src. It will call for binary search dot js. And then it will say the type associated to it would be text slash javascript. So once this part is done, we'll just move to our code base and we'll analyze. Now this was our browser. So I'll reload my page and here I can see inside binary search, I get that 22 is not in an array. So I get the random elements and it is automatically sorted with the mid value. But 22 is not found in an array. So let's go to our code base and create some other numbers. See my number is 27. Now I again search in my code base. I get 27 is also not in an array. So randomly it is like I try to guess with n number of numbers and try to figure out whether it is there in my array or not. So for that again I see 24 is also not in an array which means till I get the value there are certain subsequent values which keep on happening and that's why I'm not getting the related value. But once you get the related value over here with respect to binary search implementation, the values are automatically visible over here and you get the output that 25 is there in an array. 
So this is a way of the binary search implementation, which marks the end of our searching algorithms.